Hello my dear ones, welcome back to the Catholic Woman Earth. Today I want to continue our discussion of how can we become a Titus to woman. Uh, I'm so excited to share this journey with you and I'm so um, and I'm so excited also to learn more about how can we become a how can we could become a Titus to woman because all of all all our questions uh, uh, because uh, every Christian girl should have the desire to become a Titus to woman woman so that's why I really encourage you to read the Bible verse of Titus I think it's Titus um, let me let me look it up it's Titus 2 uh, verse 3.5 and I really encourage you to read this to read this Bible verse like daily like for myself I try to read this Bible verse daily and the beautiful thing is if we read the if we read the same Bible verse like over and over again, it can never get boring. Like if I read if I if I read the same same sentence of uh, same sentence in a book like over and over again, like uh, like m maybe in day four of day five, I'm like yeah yeah I get it. Well yeah yeah I get it. It's, it's getting boring. But uh, but if I read but if I read the Bible and if I and if I read the same Bible verse like over and over again, but it, it can it's. it's it can never get boring because you know what, my dear one, because God can can give us revelation. He, because if we're reading a book, uh, 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 God can give us information. But, but if we read the Bible, we, God can give us revelation. He can fulfill us with the Holy Spirit. And uh, and if we read the same Bible verse over and over again, the, uh, over and over again, then God can really speak to us and he can really speak to our hearts. So that's why I encourage you, encourage you to read daily your Bible. It's like a daily bread. So, uh, so let's start. So, uh, so uh, uh, the title is two women. The title is two women is a woman who knows who knows she has a mission. She she knows in this world she has a mission. So that's why she knows. And that is two women. And uh, and, and that is two. They write that that the woman cannot be. Uh, cannot be heavy drinkers like for myself i don't drink alcohol like i don't drink i don't drink but um uh, but i don't think that apostle paul meant like you can never drink but but apostle paul is saying is saying is calling us all women like he say you cannot be addicted to anything so isn't so if we because my dear ones if we are addicted if we are addicted to if we are addicted to things of this world, of this world, we cannot be really present, present for the plan, of, for the plan that God has for us. So maybe if if I drink too much, I can get tipsy or I can get drunk, and uh, and that way I can, um, I can, um, I can fall in sin. I cannot. I think we will fall in sin because now, now maybe uh, because now maybe because I'm alert and I and, and I have no. I am sober. I am sober minded. I am I am fulfilled with Holy Spirit. So now I I can discern what comes from God, what can what doesn't come from God. But uh, but if I consume alcohol of or if I consume a lot of alcohol or or on a daily basis, it can get very 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 dangerous because then I can. Um, uh, it's, it's more easy to sin but apostle paulus is talking about alcohol but now in these days we have so many things that, that we can get addicted to we can addicted to drugs addicted to smoking addicted to internet addicted to shopping uh, to gambling there's so many things that we can get addicted to but uh, but i encourage you if you have an addiction if you have something just ju um, um, just try uh, just try to bring this just try to bring this addiction to light but for myself, it was like I, I was never addicted to alcohol because I don't drink alcohol. But I had many friends around me who were, who were heavy drinkers and were always partying, going out, going to lunch bars. But I knew for myself, I knew I am a girl with a mission. I have a mission in this world to spread to, to spread the gospel. So that's why I knew I need uh, I need to end some friendship. And maybe uh, uh, maybe for you it's the same. M maybe for you it's the same. You you are not a drinker, but you have many people around you who are maybe heavy drinkers or, or drink on a regular basis, or regular basis, or like to party or like to do this. But but you, we have to know like we as women of God, we have no time for this for this kind of behavior because we know we have a mission in this world. And Apostle Paul is also saying, like, uh, we as Titus to women, who, um, our job is to teach the next generation, to mentor the next generation. So that's why it's really important for me that, uh, for me, important that I always surround myself like with the younger generation. Like, like I want to pour, the, I want to pour into them. Uh, I want to pour into them, and I, and I also want to practice. Like later, uh, later if I am if I am going to have children, like I want to. 
I, uh, I know I want to, uh, uh, I want my children to be, uh, to be godly children, God fearing children. So that's why I need to, I know I need to be godly. I need to be God fearing. So, so that's why you don't have to think like I, I cannot be a Titus two with me because I don't have a baby or I don't have a man or I'm not married. No, you can already now practice how you can be become a Titus two woman. This is so important that we as single, that we as single girls are practice practicing now how we can uh, how we can be, be become a, a godly woman and a godly mother that's, so that's why i encourage you to to, uh, to start to practice now and apostle paul is also mentioning is mentioning that, uh, that we need to be really um, that we need to be really wise when we speak so the Titus 2 woman is a woman who will never gossip and is a woman who is not negative and she's also a woman she, uh, she, she don't put uh, she don't put in herself in places where what, what, what people are gossiping or being really negative so you need to be smart enough so I know in my life I need to be smart enough I need to have used my wisdom like for certain friends I cannot hang around with you because if you are really negative and if you like to gossip I know I cannot do this because I know I have a mission in my life and you also have have a mission all of us christians we have a mission so that's why every christian we, we, we cannot be afraid to make to, to make decisions in our life we, we have to know like every time if we say no to the people we are saying like yes to god like we are we are walking on stairs stairs like every no is a yes is a yes to heaven so that's why for me it's really really easy um to, to say to, to to say to certain people in my life like no i cannot be friends with you anymore i cannot hang with you and with some people i really love them i was friends with them for maybe so many years but but um, but as I become as I become more serious in my work, I know I cannot I cannot allow certain behaviors because I know I need to I need to guard my heart. So that's why I also suggest you to make some changes in your life, because uh, because. It, because if we want to follow Jesus, they need to, they need to, we need to change some something in our life. And also, my dear ones, Apostle Paul is said like a Titus two woman is a woman who a woman who who love like to taking care of her husband of her children. And for me, I was was a little bit intimidated because my mom, she's like such a great cook. She uh, she's such a good housewife. So she uh, she really masters master that like. But for me, I always like, I always thought like, I, 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 I don't think I can become like her. So I was always thinking like, if I'm going to have children or if I'm going to get married, it's not really important what, uh, what we eat. Like as long as we, we just uh, be peaceful and be loving. So I will maybe just, just order a pizza or if I would just do this, but uh, okay, certain days that's okay. But now I learn. So now I don't have to become like my mom. Like my mom, she's such a great cook, and she can, she can, she can make the most difficult, most difficult dishes. Like maybe, like it's, it, it comes really easy for. Her. That's what I try to say. But for me, it doesn't come really easy for me. It's really hard for me. So, but but but, uh, but you know, but you know what I can do? I can I can start to read books about eating healthy, about what vegetables are good for my body, or what should I eat, or what should I avoid. So. So, uh, uh, so that's why I try to now to make it my to make it my own, and I also and I also decided from if I want to uh, if I, I need to be healthy now because I know God has a mission for my life, and I and I want to take later take care of my husband, of my children, of the people around me. So that's why I need to be healthy and I need to take my life seriously. Because before, uh, I, I would take, for example, I would take a vitamin pill, like one day I would take it, five days I would not take it. I would like, yeah, it's not a big deal, you know, whatever. But now I know it's such a big deal because my body is a body of the Holy Spirit and I want to take care of my body. So now, you guys, I'm so serious, I'm so serious with my vitamins and I also encourage you to be so serious. So that's why I want to share with you what I'm taking. So maybe it can also encourage you to, also encourage you to take, to take good care of your body, to take care of your um to take care of your house because our body is the house of the holy spirit so that's fine um i i, I got this little box because i always was wondering like did i take today my vitamin pill did i take it did i did i did i didn't take it so i never i knew I never knew because in my mind i'm so i was so not organized but now i try to be really organized so that's why i uh, i buy this box so for every day i know what i have to take and if you are wondering what um, what kind of vitamin what kind of brand i'm using i am taking this brand 
um, I don't know if you can see it good. Yes, I'm taking, and I'm also taking the night magnesium, but I don't like, I, I don't, if I be honest, I buy this brand because it was on sale, but I will never buy it again. But uh, this is just what I have now. And in the mornings, I take this. This is really good for the, uh, for the, for the hormonal, for, uh, for the woman. Uh, I don't know if you can see it in the middle. Um, uh, uh, you you can all uh, order all these things online. So I know I know if I um, if if I want to fulfill God's mission in my life, I need to take care take good care of myself. And this starts like with the little things. Like my mom, she always would like joke with me. She said always always say to me like Stina, I know I know the day I know the day when you are ready to get married. If you brush your teeth without without without, without leaving a mess on your shirt. Maybe sounds really childish, maybe sounds really strange. Maybe you're thinking now, oh, you're really messy. Yes, I am. I was that messy, and I was like, like, oh, what does this to do with that? Like how I brush my teeth, or if I get my blouse dirty, or or my t-shirt. I was like, like if I would get it dirty, I would just, uh, I would just grab a new t-shirt. Oh, it would take one hour to uh, to take all the white spots out. <laughs> but now I know it's such a waste of time because I have because if I don't. If, <laughs> It maybe sounds so strange to you. I know, I know. I, I, I'm even ashamed to tell you all. I'm being really vulnerable because I know now. <coughs> uh, uh, but, um, but I know now. Even, even the, the way the way I brush my teeth, like I need to become more careful because I don't want to make myself dirty. Because it's a waste of time. It's a waste. I don't. I want to take good care of my. I want to take good care of my of my clothes. And I and I and I want to use my time wisely. <laughs> so that's why I try to say. So now I know all the small parts uh, matters in my life. So that's why when I wake up in the morning, I want to make my bed because later I want I want my house to be neat and clean. I cannot tell my children like make your bed and make your bed and keep your room clean if I don't know how to keep my room clean. So now I am one one household. I'm one person living in my house. So now I want to try to keep my house as clean as possible. So I wake up, I make my bed like direct and everything. I go, I go to the bedroom. I um I. I I wash my teeth and I, as I'm walking to the bedroom I, I'm taking God for my because I have electronic uh, toothbrush I have a I have really expensive toothpaste because I have I have so many problems in my uh, with my teeth long story is really boring but for example but I but I start my day like so grateful I start my I start thanking God for all the little things things that I will never even think about because I want to become a tightest to woman I want to become a woman woman of God and a woman of God always acknowledge God's presence in her life so so as I was saying, so I try to and I try to take uh, take my body mass. I try to take good care of my house. I try to take care good care of my body. So I try to exercise as much as I can, and I also um, I also look down. Uh, I looked up like uh, my blood type. My blood type is A. So now I looked down. Uh, I looked up. I uh, I bought a book like um, 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 all the, all the good things for me to to eat and all the things for me to avoid to eat. So that really helped me. I also suggest suggest you um, suggest you to look up what is your blood type and to look your uh, to look um, at at your diet of, of the blood type. That really helped me to eat like the, uh, the most. Uh, try to eat as healthy as as possible of course of course i have cheat days because i'm a foodie i love food i love food i love food and now you are wondering what is my favorite food so i'm gonna tell you otherwise you just keep wondering okay my favorite food is a t-bow steak with fries with many fries a green salad and a and a diet coke i know it's not healthy but i love it oh yeah and i also love bread with a lot of butter with it so i'm a foodie Okay, and then for dessert, the chocolate cake. Okay, but as I was saying, so now, um, now I looked up my my blood type, and um, so now I try I try to eat, uh, I try to cook and to cook as. Um, 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 I try to cook the, the things that uh, the things that is recommended for my blood type, and also uh, so so I know I'm responsible for that. I'm responsible for my household, and I also know that God gave me the sermon, the sermon. So because I spend so much time with God, I spend so much time with God. So I know what comes what comes from God, what doesn't come from God. So that's why in my house, I know in my house later we're gonna my house we're gonna serve we're gonna serve God. As it says in Bible verse. I think it's in Joshua, Josh, uh, I, let me see, and Bible verse, 
uh, Bible verse Joshua 24:15. It says, "As for me and my house, we serve the Lord." So, so I need so later in my house. I already study now. In my house, we uh, we serve God. We do uh, we serve God, and we're gonna serve God for the next ten. 30, 50 years, our mission is going, to, is going to be the same because our life is going to be based on the word of God. So, as I said also in the Bible verse, like I think Matthew, Matthew 7, 7, 24 says like, if, if, we, if, we, if we built a house on the word of God, it would it, um, not even the biggest storm can take it down. So that's why we have to know for ourselves, like we live, we base our life on the word of God. So we, we don't base our life, like or our life on the, the next next beauty blog or the next or the next hype on Instagram or on television. No, I don't really care about that. I base my life on the word of the apostle Paul, Paulus, of the word of God, of the other apostles. I live my life for God. So th so that's why I don't want to become the next like the next top model. Uh, but I want to become like the next top type. Titus two women and we all should have that desire. That's why we, we cannot live for the world because darling this world change. This world change. This I have I have seen so many change in our life. So that's why that's why we cannot change. We have to stick to the word of God from two thousand years ago. Because the word of God is gonna stay exactly the same. It's not gonna change. People are gonna change, but we as Christians we cannot change and we need to stick together. We need to stick together and we need to help each other. We need to, to help each other to uh, to really fulfill uh, really to fulfill our, our destiny in this world. So that's why also the apostle Paul encouraged women to be um, to be submitted to the husband. And I know many people when they hear the word submission, they, they get a little bit scared. But for me, I think it's the most beautiful thing because now as a single, I try to submit to my mom. And I want to I want I want to give you an example. Like if I want to do something, I always ask for the blessing of my mom. But I don't have to ask the blessing of my mom. I have my own money. I have my own house. I have everything my own. But 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 I have the wisdom. I have the wisdom. Uh, I have the wisdom that that I know that if I if I ask permission to my mom and I would and if God and if my mom will give me her blessing that, that the thing that I want to do it will become fruitful. Otherwise, we're just gonna be busy and busy and fruitful are totally different things. So, so now I already practice this. So now later when I get married, it's for me really easy. Like if I want to do something, I'm gonna ask permission to my husband because I know if I have permission from my husband, I know my things will will become fruitful and uh, and um and, and if I have his blessing. Uh, so and I also really important for us to, for to keep our peace because women of nowadays days they think yes I have my own money I have my own career I have this I have my own house these things are not important these things are really not important I want to know what else do you got what else do you got what I, I, I uh, what else do you got like, so it's, for me it's more important if you have the godly wisdom that, that then if you have a degree from Harvard because for me that doesn't it, um, of course I'm really proud of you if you have it I don't have it I'm so proud of you I'm, you go sister I'm so proud of you like uh, d don't take me wrong but for me it's more important if you have a God fearing heart like if you have a degree of Harvard like muy bien but I also want you to have a God fearing heart because that's so much uh, it's so much more important because if we go to heaven Jesus is not going to ask us like what kind of degree do you have no Jesus is going to ask me like Christina did you submit to your husband? Uh, did you did you love your children? Did you take care of the things that, that I gave you? And that's so important because we live for God and we don't live for the people. So uh, so. Uh, uh, so that's why we need to try to do. We need to live our life as. As, as as in the Bible, and that's why my single girls, all the girls who are single who, who are not married, I I encourage you now to use your wisdom. Do you don't date. Don't date every boy because if you want to be a Titus two woman, you need to have a godly man next to you because your house, your house, your house need to have a mission. Your mission should be to serve the Lord, and you cannot do that if you are un unequally yoked. You cannot do that if your husband doesn't believe, uh, doesn't believe in God, or has a totally different mission. Like I cannot submit to my husband if if, if he don't have in the same mission as me. Like I I ask my mom her blessing because I know my mom is a God fearing mom and a God. God-fearing woman. So 
I, later I'm going to ask my mom, my husband permission because I know and I want his blessing because I know he's a God-fearing man. That's why I, and for me, I never ask advice to people who don't, who don't believe in God, who are ungodly or who are living in sin. Like I will never ask you advice because I don't, I don't want to go where you go. I want to go, to, I want to go to Jesus Christ. So that's why if you are, if you are single, if you are, if you are, but but if you have the desire to, if, but if you have the desire to get married don't think like this, this desire is bad because it means like i'm not complete in jesus i'm not i'm not uh, i'm not grateful enough no if you have the desire to get married then the god put the seed in you and that's a beautiful beautiful thing and i encourage you to, and i encourage you to, encourage you to to, uh, to to cherish it to cherish it but now in this moment don't focus you on. Don't focus on who I'm gonna date, what I'm gonna do. No, focus on the word of God. Focus, focus on the word of God. Focus like how can I become a Titus woman? How can I live for God? How can I serve God? How can I love my husband a little bit, little bit better later? How can I become a more godly woman? That's really important because God gave us women like a discernment, and He also gave us a discernment for for the little details. Because for me, I know my house is gonna be my responsibility. Who's gonna come in my house? That's why my door is my responsibility. The door of my house because I want to keep the I want to keep the I want to keep my house um, peaceful. So that's why I know it's my responsibility. So that's why I also use like um, I also use like holy water, uh, holy water. I also use like like oil. So uh, with holy water, I try to bless my house. It's always good if you ask a priest to come to your house to bless your house, to bless your house, or if you don't have a good day, you bless yourself. You can bless your husband, your children with holy water and something else. You, we can use the oils. This oil is from is from Saint Charbel, but um, um, if you don't have oils. Or if you don't have, um, or if you don't have holy, uh, holy water, you can go to your priest, you can go to your church, and you can just ask them, please, can I give some, can I give have some holy water of some oils, and I, and I know that uh, maybe they can help you out. I also know some people who use like holy salt, um, salt, but uh, blessed salt, but I never use, have used it, so I cannot give you any tips about that. But that's why for me, I know my house is gonna be my responsibility. Everybody who's, who who comes to my house, that's why not everybody can come to my house because I am the uh, because uh, I feel responsible I feel responsible for my children for my husband so and and I know because I spend so much time with God I uh, uh, God he gave me this the, the, this um so I know what comes from God what doesn't come from God but be, because I know uh, because be, because we need to live because we need to live for God, and if we live for God, and God will give us the, will give, will give us the godly wisdom. And that's why for me, I can really discern like this person comes from God, this person doesn't come from God. God wants me to be friends with her. God doesn't want me to be friends with her. God wants me to bless her. God wants me to invite her to hope. Oh, 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 oh God wants me to block this friendship. And we only can know these things. We only can get get, get the discernment if we are still, if we are spending so much time in front of God. So we don't be afraid to spend one two three four five hours with god uh, don't be afraid because we are not afraid like if we are watching netflix and we are not afraid like if we are watching two or three movies or two or three documentaries we are not afraid to lose this time but why are we afraid to spend time with god because because the things that god can give you you cannot buy this with money you cannot find these things on the internet you can only get these things if we spend time with god if we spend time with god and god will give us will give us things that the world cannot give us he will give us he will give us godly wisdom not worldly wisdom God, worldly wisdom is is nothing is nothing you is nothing it's, it's, that's why we don't live for this world but we don't live for this world we are in this world but we don't we don't live in this world we are set apart we are set apart because we are children of god so that's why my uh, um, that's why my dear girls if you are married i encourage you love your husband love your husband submit to your husband submit to your husband try to be and uh, uh, try to be um try to love him uh, try to love him and don't be scared don't be scared to be the person to love the most because everything that you're going to do for your husband you're going to do for god and uh, and try to teach your children try to teach your children to love god to honor god with their lives but uh, but uh, but that's why we need to know we need to know the word of god because if the world says something to us like this is popular now then we have to say no 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 it's popular but this is sin 
uh, if we do these things, we cannot go to heaven. So that's why we need to spend time with God. And my dear girls who are single, but who has a desire to get married, don't be scared. Uh, uh, don't be scared to use this time to, to spend with God and uh, and uh, and don't think like, no, I need to go find a man. You don't need to find a man because you are a tightest two women, and God knows who you, who you who you're gonna marry. But use your time wisely. Spend now. Spend now this time to take care of your home, to love your home, to be grateful for the things that God gave you. And uh, maybe you can now maybe you can now take a, take a cook, cooking class or or or, or to read some books about about health health food healthy foods or, or try to exercise your body because your body because your body uh, your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. That's why I need to know like um, uh, I need to and I, I need to I need to try to eat clean. Of course, we have cheat days cheat days as I said before but uh, but, uh, but we need to take care of our house we need to take care of, of, of our bodies and we uh, and we need to take care of, of our mental health so so this time uh, this time try to, try to invest in yourself try to invest in, in yourself this is because uh, because and you are you are in this season you you, uh, you put by God in this scene it's not because it's not because my day one if you are married you are you are in the you are and you are in, in in your correct season. If you are single, you are in your correct season. But try to use the season as as wise as you can. If you are married and you think you know what, uh, I, uh, I want to be Titus two women. Then, uh, uh, then try to read books about how you can become a Titus two woman. Uh, uh, go to uh, oh sorry, uh, go to find uh, go to find maybe godly woman in your church and ask her for your advice. Um, so, but we need to take we need to take action and if you are single you say i want to be i want to become a titus two woman a titus two woman is a woman who is focused on god she is not focused on herself she's not focused on, on her on her emotions on what she wants she asks no it's not important what i want it's important what god wants because we are on this world to please god we are not in this world to please uh, to please people so my dear ones, I encourage you today to, uh, to take control of your life because a Titus 2 woman, I also, I want to end with this, a Titus 2 woman is a woman with, with a helicopter view. Have you ever have you ever seen a helicopter? Like if the helicopter flies around, it's like he has a view of everything around him. A Titus 2 woman is a woman with a helicopter view. So that's why maybe you think like, Christina, uh, take care of my house. I, I live alone. Nobody comes to my house. No, it's really important because because I need to have a I need to have a view of my house because I need to know everything what's going on because then it means like I am in control of my life. I need to be in control of my life. I need to be in control of my mouth. I need to be in control of my finances. I need to know what I make, what I spend, and what I can save, and what what I can give to charity. That's really important because because. Because uh, th the things that I have, uh, uh, God gave me these things, and if one, and if I want that, if I want that, God will bless me. That, that, that I need to show God that I'm that I uh, that I take care of the little things that He gave me. That uh, that He gave me, and I need to grow, uh, and that's why I need to grow in appreciation and a, and, a, and and gratefulness for the things that God already blessed me with. So that's why I try to take control of your life. Try to take control of your mouth. What you eat, what you speak, who you spend your time with, who you spend your time with, and how you spend your money, and and and, uh, and your household, and the people around you. So I love you so much, and I really encourage you. I really encourage you for yourself to, uh, to read this Bible verse over and over again, and, and to ask God like how you can how you can practice how you can practice these things in your life. So. I will see you in my next video, but, but uh, I will see you in my next video, but no, I love you all and I send you all a very big hug.